Primacy is so hard. Uh, I, I think it, it struck me the other day about how, you know, you'll pick up on a tongue over, you know, you'll be in a You'll, you'll be in a, uh, in a venue and someone will be talking and you'll go, oh, and then the lines start going through your head and you're like, oh, that sounds cool, I want to do that one. And then you're so fixated on the one you're working on that three points later it's your time and it doesn't fit in anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did that at Rudamaya the other night and I was thinking about a death point and somebody got up there three points later and said, no, I was thinking about girls, but he's talking about death, maybe I should talk about death again. So I'll do the best I can. This is something I was thinking earlier that uh, I think works. Teleport yourself for a moment to the days when we would all sit in sandboxes and play to our heart's content. And in our enrapture with the sand and the people next to us and their divers, we would stuff fistfuls upon fistfuls of sand into our mouths. Our folks would sit by aghast. Take it out, spit it out, you're going to hurt your teeth or your gums. We have come so far since those days when we could hold sand. And I think to the farmers or those during the Depression whose dirt wilted up and dried beneath them. But if you will, remember the feeling of the earth and your fingers in it and how you can mash it sometimes and make clumps. And if you squinch it together, it all disappears. It's hard to remember where the earth, when all around us is concrete and electricity and mics and chairs. It's been so long since we sat in our sandboxes or in a field of grass and just admired the dirt and what grows out of it. We all came from that. A long, long, long time ago. We grew out of the earth, and to this day, human beings are still growing out of the earth. The earth and their mother's wombs, and then born into the world. I almost want to take a field trip and take us all outside and run amongst the grass and grab dirt and say, this is what it's all about. This is what grows from this. And I know the quiet place in a poet's heart is just that. It's raw. And this is one of my favorite words that I've written about before. It's lone. Lone. Yeah. Rich, dark, rich, real lone. What a beautiful, yeah, you can just feel the stuff. Yeah. The stuff grows from it. I'm so happy to be a child of Mother Earth. I've got a perfect response to that. And someone else gets up and, oh, they go to Latvia. I've got a perfect Latvian poem. And they go to Estonia. i got the best Estonian poem ever. And then they're talking about rainbows. And your whole mind goes, rainbow. What 